Hello YouTube, so recently I have been asked how to make this background. Lots of people have been looking for this. Okay, so what you're going to need is the .zip file I've included in the description, which will contain the codes.weather text that I've already featured in one of my videos, and the text with just the date and the day of the week and all of the date ones. And you also it will include the background and the sand, because the sand is part of the background, but to get this to like overlap, as you can see, I have to um, move it a bit. Okay, so if I create a new one and call it Sand Tutorial and enable that and disable that one. As you can see, this one stays. I'll show you why later. I will just uninstall it quickly. Okay, so what you're going to want to do to start off is the time. So drag this new shell, go into our file and copy this. You obviously have to set it as background first. And on Geek Tool in our shell, let's just paste this. I will refresh every second. And as you can see, we have the date. The font you will use for everything is Hell Vector New And you can set it to Ultralight and whatever you want. I have roughly 300 on my background. As you can see. And you can set it to where you want to overlap in the sand. So this one will be overlapped with all the sand later in the tutorial. You'll get what I mean by that. And if I just put it on 350 maybe. It will be a bit bigger. And I can get more overlapping space. So I'm going to leave that there. Yep. Okay, so now what you're going to need is another shell with a date. Or the time of day first we shall do. No, not the time of day, the day of the week. Okay, so copy and paste the day of the week. And in our shell, paste in the day of the week. And refresh it however much you like. This is a tutorial, so I'm putting it on like one second. And set it to Helvector Nui again, ultralight. And the size I use is about... 48 and just put a little bit overlapping on the sand and that is that one done you can resize it to what you want but it doesn't really matter and now I'll drag this shell here and I will get the month so if I copy and paste the month and I will put that on 6 thousand seconds because it only needs to update every month and the font will be hell vector nue and ultralight and size is about 48 for me is what i will use you can change it to whatever you want and now what we're going to do is get the date or the day of the week so today is the 8th so it will come up with the 8th and you can put that on quite a low one. So I'll put that on one second for the tutorial. And I will put a vector new A on and ultra light. And then the size again about 64. And if you saw my other background, I had it on medium because it makes it a bit bold. The date and I like I wanted it to stand out. So I'll do that for here. And I'll move everything up so you can see Sunday just a bit better. The only problem with this, this is quite cramped, this area here. But it doesn't really matter, you can still read it. Okay, so now we've got everything that's a sand full overlap done. What we're going to need to do is, if I get rid of all of this, is drag a new image script. So click on image and drag a new image script. And click set local path. And in my zip file, there'll be a thing called sand.png. Open it, and you'll see the picture of all the sand. 
what you're going to need to do is enlarge it until it's about the same size as the sand. And that is about right then. And as you can see, this is what I meant by overlapping. It's dug into the sand. And that is that done. Okay, so now we need the weather. So what we'll do first is we'll drag a shell. We'll do the weather image first. What you're going to need to do is open up my weather scripts. So let me just get them out now. Codes weather number five wherever that's gone I'll find it in finder weather codes here we are okay so what I'm going to do is get the weather grab image script and as you can see it says your weather image your weather URL so what you need to do is go onto your browser and type in Yahoo weather and wait for it to load. I've got quite bad internet. Let me just sort that out. Yahoo weather. Hopefully that will load. There we are. Okay, so with the Yahoo weather, you're going to want to type in your postcode or where you live. So I'll put London and just click on whichever one's mine or the first one that comes up then. And you're going to need to copy and paste the whole entire address line and paste it in where it says your weather URL and paste. Okay, so with that done, you can go ahead and copy it. Oh, and you can in your shell, in a new shell, you can paste it in, and you can refresh it however much you like. Okay, so this is just a blank box. If you don't understand this, I'm doing it quite quickly. I have done a weather tutorial. Just go and watch that. So this blank box can just sit around. It will be blank. It's just what grabs the, grabs the weather image. Okay, now copy the weather image script to put the image on. And put it wherever you like. And paste it in where it says URL. And as you can see, we get this box here. That comes up with the weather. As you can see, copy it nicks this image here okay so now you can make that refresh however much seconds you like I'll put every 6,000 or 600 then and you can set that to refresh however much you like okay so now what you're going to need is the metric or Fahrenheit readout and you can also do the two-day forecast if you want but what we are going to do is get the metric reader and as you can see it says your area code so to find that go type in your postcode and put RS and click RSS over here and if it loads because mine has very bad internet if it did load at the top let me just do this quickly Okay, so click RSS, and this will be all weird, but what you do is you go here and copy this eight-digit code. As you can see, mine's UKXX0085. Copy all of that, and paste it in where it says your area code on every single one. So let's get rid of the your area code and paste it in. And now I will copy all of that all of the metric readout is what I want you'll have to do this for every single one so if you want the two day forecast you have to do it for the two day forecast as you can see this bit over here has gone a bit funny but that doesn't matter it will eventually refresh itself let me put that on 10 seconds and let's make this yep I think it's just being overlapped by something but yours will work mine's just glitching up at the moment okay so now I'll drag this here and paste in the line I just copied 
and press every second because of the tutorial purpose and you set this to Helvector Nui right so Helvector Nui ultralight and however big you want I'd go for about 48 or 36 around that line okay and just put it next to it and I will put refresh for a second for that one and as you can see it's back it just needed a refreshing okay so now we've got the weather what we need is the iTunes geek lit I have got how to do your own iTunes geek lit a tutorial but I found this great cool app called iTunes geek lit the download link will be in the description and it just says install or reinstall and the one I use is circle bar I will um, upload the link with all what they all look like and press OK and you press yes on all of these and as you can see it creates this geek lit over here you don't need to change the refresh rate it actually refreshes itself so it says zero seconds but it will refresh and you can drag these down here like I did and what you can do is you can just set the font I don't tend to change the font on this one and when you press something can't really tell whether it's playing at the moment let me see yep okay and now I will go up here refresh all and hopefully this should start to work if it doesn't work as you can see the circle bar is working but the others aren't so to fix that I will just see why the com for some weird reason the scripts aren't working so if I un if yours doesn't work, just uninstall it and reinstall it. That's how I get mine to work sometimes. Okay, and now when I press circle bar, yes, I do want that to run. Yes, yes, yeah. Should eventually start to work. Next song, next song right yes it's worked finally okay so you can drag it to where you want so how I got this it will be above the sand now because you put it in later and you can just drag these where you want you can change the font do anything with them and it should work you can change the order that it's in as you can see you've got the album artwork in there and you can set a refresh rate, but I don't tend to, because sometimes it refreshes itself, and it's quite good at that. So, sometimes yours will disappear. It's quite a testing app at the moment. So, yeah, as I said, uninstall, reinstall to get it working. It sometimes breaks, but as soon as it starts to work it won't break at all so yeah yes yes and you just have to go through a couple songs and let it refresh and it will refresh and look like this and you may be wondering what the circle's for as as you go along the song it starts to fill in how well the song is filled in so how far through the song you are let me drag that there you will have an invisible box do not remove that otherwise the whole thing will break the invisible box is like the weather script it just grabs everything and that is the tutorial done as you can see it changes and if you still have any questions check out my other videos if you have any questions on the weather or anything and if you can't find the answers in any of my other videos just comment and ask me thank you for watching comment rate and subscribe